how does the train know its location? The answer is not GPS because these MRT services need accurate location of the train to maintain the safety of the journey. This accuracy is not provided by the satellite communication in complex environments like tunnels and subway stations. For this reason, we cannot use GPS. Other than this, we have fixed block method, a conventional method which was used from last 150 years to know the location of the train, in which the tra when a train enters onto the track with the help of track circuits, a block is established. This block is of length 200 to uh, 200 meters to 1 kilometer. Other than this block, we have two buffer blocks, one is ahead of the train and one is behind the train. So we have three blocks now. One is occupied by the train which is 200 to 1000 meter and one is ahead of the train and one is behind the train. These three blocks will cover a distance of approximately 1 km to 3 km. The drawback of this fixed block method is this cannot give a precise location of the train inside that block which means in the 200 meters to 1 km block range we cannot know where the train is exactly located. The train is of length 80 meters. So in CBTC we are using moving block in which the block, the block length is moving by using the beacons as already explained the buffer distance between uh, buffer distance ahead and below the behind the train is varying depending upon the speed of the train and uh, the speed of the next trains this will effectively reduce the headways between multiple trains and improve the frequency of trains <laughs>